Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are talking about another beautiful Echeveria called as Echeveria Royal Hercules. Now, I don't know if there is any difference between regular Hercules or Royal Hercules, but uh, as per the images that I found on Google, this refers to as Royal Hercules. Now, the regular and Royal Hercules will have the same care requirements, what I'm going to be discussing in this video. Uh, so it's an extremely easy to grow succulent. I'm putting it in level easy because if you are a beginner, if you're just starting off with succulents, this is one of the succulent you can definitely add in your collection, provided you give it the basic care requirement. The soil has to be loose, porous and well draining. Water only when the soil is completely bone dry. Here as you can see, I had accidentally overwatered the succulent and one of the leaf had been overwatered. I mean not overwatered. One of the leaf absorbed too much of water and that's why uh, it started to crack. It was just one leaf. It's absolutely fine. But the succulent is doing extremely well. You can see the leaves are looking well hydrated, not too closed, not too open. This is how it tends to look like. It's getting a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours. I'm just waiting for it to grow. A little bit of soil is stuck in between the crown area. I have to clear it, but it's an absolutely beautiful succulent. It goes dormant during the winters. Summer is their growing period. So if you want to add any fertilizers, you can do that during the summer period. Ensure that you do not add too much of fertilizers. Echeverias do not like a lot of organic soil. Uh, they will get weak. Apart from that, it's going to invite fungus, mold and other stuff. And the succulent roots will also get affected if there is too much of nutrients in the soil. So as you can see, my soil mix is very loose, very porous. What I usually tend to use, 80% aquarium sand and 20% of garden soil is the same material that I've used. Now here I'm using a pot that is made out of paper crete. A paper creed tends to absorb excess moisture from the soil so it helps the succulent as well in case even if I have overwatered the succulent or if the soil tends to remain moist the paper creed pot is going to help me absorb all the excess moisture so for echeverias I always use a pot material that is very porous either a earthen pot like a concrete pot you can even go for uh, terracotta unglazed clay pots or paper creed pot they will absorb the excess moisture Echeverias, what I found is that they tend to love a material, a pot material that tends to absorb that excess moisture and is very porous in nature. So if you have an option of going for earthen pots, definitely do that, especially if you are from a place which is very humid or if you are from a coastal area, try to use an earthen pot for Echeverias. That would work out really well. Propagation is pretty simple. You can separate the offsets once they reach a decent size. You can do a leaf propagation. Uh, stem cutting is only possible if the succulent starts to stretch because ideally echeverias do not have a very evident stem they are very close to the ground they are very compact to the ground so the stem is not very evident especially when you are giving it a good amount of morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours you can even place it in indirect bright light there is no issue uh, but the colors will not be very evident you can grow it indoors provided you have a good quality of grow light it's going to work out really well so here I have another uh, Hercules, the same, it's called as Royal Hercules. I don't know if there is any difference. So I have it here in the between, it's doing extremely well. Uh, the colors are just starting to come up, a little bit of burn on the tip, but it's absolutely fine. The succulent looks absolutely beautiful. You can see the colors. This one also tends to receive a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours. In fact, all of the succulents tend to receive, uh, this is my PVN, as you can see. I have to water this pot because you can see the lower leaves are starting to get wrinkled. So it's time to water this pot. Uh, these are my Graptovaria. This one is an Echeveria, but I'm not quite sure about the name. Again, I don't know the name of this one as well. So this is PVN, this is Pink Rosa, and this is my Hercules, uh, my Graptovaria. All of them are doing extremely well. If you might have seen the video that I had made on this uh, planter wherein I was arranging this succulents, you can see all of them are doing absolutely beautiful. I have to water them. They are long due for watering, so I will do that right after this video. Probably I'll do a top watering because the temperatures are increasing a lot and uh, bottom watering is not going to be sufficient because they are very dehydrated right now. So I will be going ahead and doing a top watering for them very soon. Of course with the help of this bottle because I wouldn't say it's congested but uh, if I'm going to add it from top I'm definitely going to drop water on the succulent leaves. So this bottle is going to help me 
water only the soil so once the video is done i'm going to do the watering so it's a pretty simple to grow succulent if you are a beginner if you are getting into succulents you can definitely start with this succulent uh, it does not get affected with mealybugs i haven't seen any mealybug issue on this succulent so far that i've kept this this guy has been around for almost one and a half year uh, now the succulent has not grown a lot because i tend to keep taking out leaves from the bottom in order for leaf propagation there are some that have been kept for propagation so that's all about this beautiful variety if you are a beginner definitely you can add it in your collection so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating